Okay guys, now we're going to attempt to install the landing gear, the, the front one anyway. Um, I've got it just resting in here, um, centered up the, the best that I uh, could, and uh, I made sure that um, it didn't interfere with the hinge or anything like that. And uh, basically the point that I'm at right now is where I need to get those uh, wood blocks or the, the landing gear mounting blocks. Um, to conform to the shape of the fuselage. You can see that back one um, actually fits really, really well. If I can get it to focus there. Anyways, that one's perfect. Uh, this other side there, that's perfect. Um, that's just a popsicle stick I have in there just to keep it in place for right now. And if we go into the front here, that's not so perfect so that's what we're gonna be working on now you can see there's a thin strip of balsa that I glued um, I actually did all three sides of that because uh, when I used the belt sander I went a little bit too deep so um, this is gonna give me a little bit more area to um, to sand off again to the, so I can get it to the right shape so that's kinda what I'm working on right now and you can see there it goes there's a little bit of space there, but I think if I sand off the left and the right side, it's pretty much going to drop that down. Now, um, I know that I probably weakened that joint a little bit because um, I'll be gluing that strip to the fuselage rather than the solid block. So I'm just going to use hefty amounts of high sol uh, to make sure that I'm adhering that actual block to the fuselage as well. So um, I realize that I probably weaken that a bit but uh, we'll make sure to beef it up later on so anyways that's where I'm at and I'm gonna try to sand it a little bit and then we'll go on to the next step okay here we are with our end result um, it's not a ton better but um, it does match the contour of the fuselage a little bit better um, I've mixed together some uh, 30 minute epoxy there with some um, uh, fiberglass or milled fiberglass so um, what I'm going to do is go ahead and put that in, try and get all in between all the little nooks and crannies to fill the, um, the gap there. Um, this is only for our initial, um, I guess, securing of the block there because um, we're going to take high saw and uh, really um, get around all the edges and all the contours and everything. Um, I'll do that tonight uh, when I can let it sit overnight. Um, that way we'll make sure that it's really, really in there good. So. Um, we don't want to be popping any gear when we when we land so um, also you can see I've got the landing gear retracted there it's actually looking pretty awesome I'm getting kind of excited now because uh, it's starting to look like an airplane so um, I'll go ahead and remove that there's just a couple um, screws there and some screws on the back that we'll take out that um, will let us get in there with the high saw and just make sure that's really solid so anyways uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put in the 30-minute uh, epoxy. Uh, I'm not going to be able to do that because I'm actually balancing the nose of the plane on my head right now, so I um, can't really uh, do all those things at once. So anyway, I'll go ahead and do that and show you what it looks like. Okay, while well, that 30-minute epoxy is drying, I just wanted to show you, um, I guess, the underside here with the landing gear um, since I didn't have a real good handle on it uh, on the last video. Um, you can see how our air cylinder is going to work there. It will attach somewhere over here. I've got to read the instructions. Um, anyways, and that works really good. Um, there's no interference or anything. The clearance is good, so um, no issues there. Um, you can see over here, the landing gear, um, the hinge isn't affected by the uh, landing gear there, so that works just fine. And down here, the wheel, you want to make sure that the clearance is good there. And we've got plenty of space all around that, so it should work just fine. So, um, and you can see that the landing gear door closes good. Now, not sure the back here, um, hopefully when we get our air cylinder attached and everything, but looks like this is going to pop up a little bit here, which is going to drive me nuts, so I'll figure out a way, maybe if it's a 
little magnet or something under there, but um, if anybody's got any suggestions, let me know. I'm hoping that it's just because of this uh, offset thing that we had to do, and that once we get that fixed, it'll fix that as well. So, Also, we don't have the bulkheads in the back, and that might uh, change the shape of the fuselage just a little bit there to where that won't be an issue. So might be too early to, uh, to tell, so uh, I'm not going to worry about it just yet. So, anyways, wanted to show you that while our glue was drying. Um, you can kind of see, hopefully, I've got a nice bead in there, and I've got the fuselage uh, laying on his back here so that uh, it'll seep down into all those little nooks and crannies and crevices and stuff. Um, haven't done the back one yet there, I still need to do that, but the glue started to set up here because I took a couple attempts to make the video, so... Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and glue that back one, and we'll be back. Okay, I got excited, so I just test fitted the duct here. Don't, uh, don't anybody get in a panic. I'm not actually gluing it in yet. I still need to reinforce it. Um, I guess it'll collapse in a couple uh, places if you, uh, if you don't reinforce it. So I'll probably be giving uh, Gunrad, um, if you're listening, I'll be sending you some emails here uh, shortly but um, until then uh, I'm just test fitting it I just wanted to see what it looked like but uh, kind of see yeah we'll go in there that's looking in from the cockpit and here we have looking in the access hatch there Here's looking down the uh, the nose there, so getting pretty awesome here. I'm gonna have to order the engine uh, pretty soon, but just need the fundage. So, anyways, I'm still letting all that other stuff dry. I just uh, got excited there, so.